they're not biological, but they like if you look at Lakeland and the way she acts, it's Hillary and myself like combined, and then Trice the same way, and things that they pick up on um, you don't realize, and so that for me is another motivator now is like, hey, these kids are watching. What's it like being a father of a, a adopted children uh, versus? And how do you feel not having a biological child? Never once does it cross my mind that those aren't my kids. Mm -hmm. They're my kids. Um, you know, I don't I don't know the feeling of having biological children, but I could not love these kids anymore. Wow. They're there are kids, you know, like um, they and came. They were yours in the first day. Yeah. So Lakeland was Lakeland was there the first. Uh, we got her. Um, immediately, like I said, I was there, cut the cord. Trice was nine days old. He was in the NICU um, when we got him. That was a kind of a crazy story too. We had a f couple failed adoptions. Um, I was tired of watching Hillary go through that. And so I was like, you know what? I'm perfectly content with Lakeland. Like, let's, let's, let's pump the brakes with this. Um, she was like, I, I, I don't, I feel like there's, there's, we have another kid out there. And wow. I'm, like, I'm like, I'm not watching you go through this. Let's take a little break. And she's like, fill out this paperwork. And I'm like, I can't fill out this paperwork because I can't watch, like, I'm not doing this. So she comes up to me. She's like, you're going to fill out this paperwork. And I'm like, all right, I'll fill out the paperwork. But this is the last time. This is it. I'm not doing it. I'm, if it doesn't work, I'm not going through it anymore. So it was an, a lawyer in Florida. And so uh, <laughs> she overnights the paperwork because it had it was due the next day uh we get an email that night and they're like hey you're one of 20 families this girl wants um this baby to go to somebody he's already been born he's nine years nine days old he's four pounds three ounces um he's in the NICU this she wants him to go to a family that um that doesn't have any kids which is like crap but in the 20 you know there's two or three that don't have kids and they they won't they don't list the names they just list ages um names of or not names but number of kids ages of the kids and whatever and where they live and so we get an email that night it's like uh you're one of the top five and so hillary's all excited i'm like just calm down yeah, yeah. off the brakes here and so the lawyer calls a couple hours later he's like how soon can you get to jacksonville florida we're like well i mean we can be there the next morning mind you this is a, a month before regionals I'm like, okay, here we go. And so we drove to Jacksonville, Florida, and we met Trice, and Richard the Third is his name, but we call him Trice. And so um, we, we've had Trice since he was nine days old, and then Violet is actually our youngest. Um, she's Lakeland's biological half-sister. Uh, oh. Hillary stays in touch with the birth mom. You know, it's not an open adoption, but she'll give her updates. And so she reached out to her on Facebook and was like, hey, I had another baby and can't keep her. Would you guys keep her? Or would wow. you guys take her? And we're like, of course. And uh, Trice was 10 months old at the time. That wow, was tough. For the 10 months and, and Violet was super colicky and it was hard, really hard. Now she's an angel. She's our sweetest kid. Trice is a disaster. He's literally <laughs> like 100% boy, all go all the time. But um, it's awesome to see, you know, like they're not biological, but they like if you look at Lakeland and the way she acts it's Hillary and myself like combined and then Trice the same way and like wow. you don't think about the things that the kids pick up on but now the older two go to me go with me to the barn or to the the gym a ton and so like I've never once told them hey let's work out but Lakeland loves to work out like when I say workout, she yeah. swings around on the pull-up bar. She'll make like obstacle courses. She'll run around. She has a little barbell, um, picks up dumbbells. Trice is the same way. He tries to follow her around all the time. He's two. Um, but yeah, it's the things that's, it's kind of cool to, everything comes full circle. Like I've never once, like I said, I'm not going to be a, like get in their face, rah, rah type of parent, but um, the things that they pick up on, um, you don't realize. And so that for me is another motivator now is like, hey, I need to, these kids are watching like mm -hmm. that's this they're the most important thing to me and the things that they pick up on like I, i've got to like you know when you get a little emotional you're like all right i need to rein it in a little bit because you know that's <laughs> what they watching. feed off of it and yeah, you don't think about it because you're like oh they're two years old or four years old or one year old they're not going to pick up on some of this stuff but they do man they it's it's, it's insane what they pick, they pick up, up on everything, everything.